Our normally scheduled program, The Amazing Adventures of Dr. Moo, will not be heard tonight so that we may present the following special broadcast. In January of 1987, two Russian soldiers took over a small college somewhere in Northern California. It was a bloodless takeover and nobody noticed the difference anyway. But it is a story that could have made a zillion dollars for our network. So it is a story that must be told. Here now is the story of Chico. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was no big deal to talk to your campus, Mayor Konsky. You had no spirit, no initiative. Why, you lost your school before you, we even won it. Aha, I made a joke. Uh, yeah, that sounds wild, dude. But right now I just want to know how to get to Acker Gym. Two blocks straight ahead, then turn left, Conrad. You cannot miss it. And by the way, is Mikhail Gorbachev gym now? <laughs> yeah, thanks, dude. See ya. I think maybe we have revolution and nobody came, Comrade. Da, it's no good taking over campus if no one cares. These Americanskis take fun out of everything. I have an idea, Comrade. Let's go to town and see what we can blessedly conquer next. Sounds good ski to me, Comrade. Mm -hmm. Ah, here's a newspaper office. It will infiltrate newspapers and make them print lies and wild, unfounded rumors to disorient and panic the populace. Look at editorial page, comrade. They have beat us to it. There must be something we can do. I don't know. We will threaten to poison the water unless the town is turned over to us. I have some more bad news for you, comrade. <laughs> ah, Americanskis beat us to everything. Is this not fair? As the morale on both sides grew steadily worse, the bloodthirsty invading horde, both of them, finally found something new to conquer on the evening of the 10th day of the occupation. This could not miss, comrade. We will enter this decadent capitalist nightclub, start a riot, and get our opposition arrested. But, but no one is opposing us. Just do it, comrade. OK, OK. Go up to the ticket taker and show him your gun. Very well, Ski. <clears throat> you there, I'm Mr. Decadent Tool of Power Brokers, Amerikatsky ticket taker. I am liberating this nightclub in the name of the Soviet Union, the United Nations, and the Campaign for Economic Democracy. There's a two dollar cover charge to get in, dude. I have a gun right here, see? Sorry, dude, we don't take merchandise. Either you give me two bucks or you don't get in. One moment, please. Take your time, man. Well? I am supposed to pay cover charge. What? He wants money. I see. One side, comrade. I will take care of this. You there, Mr. Capitalist Swine, Americanski ticket taker? What's up, dude? Do you take rubles? We'll take money from anywhere, dude. Good, too, please. The stage is now set for the most dramatic events of the bloodless Soviet takeover. Listen, Mr. Kaplan's puppet narrator, if you do not shut up Ski for a while and stop giving away the plot, I will put you on a one-way trip, train, sorry, to Siberia. Never mind him, comrade. Now that we are inside decadent capitalist nightclub, we can claim it in the name of the Soviet Union. Hey, Cindy, look at those two guys. Wow, those two are bad. What a great fashion statement. <laughs> yeah, especially those rad little red stars. Your attention, please. We are claiming this decadent nightclub in the name of the glorious Soviet... Hey, you! Wanna dance? What? I... I really get off on guys in uniform. Yeah, me too. Who's your friend? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to... <laughs> I have Private Oski Solaski, and this is Corporal Hotsky Trotsky. <laughs> we are very pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Cindy. This is Don. Hi! <laughs> I, uh... I guess uh, a little dancing before we uh, take over the rest of the town uh, wouldn't hurt. Bum, 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 bum. Bye bye. I had a great time. time. It's getting late, comrade. Yes, yeah, very late. Come on, may I ask, where is your gun? Where is yours, comrade? I asked you first. I sold my gun to an Americanski teenager so I could uh, pay bar bill. I did the same thing to pay my bar bill. You know, vodka is very expensive here. You know, without guns, we cannot go back to glorious Soviet Union. I guess we'll have to detach. What a shame. We will never 
have to find other jobs. What a shame. We, I'm stuck. What a shame. We will have to find other jobs that pay us a lot of money, and we will have nothing to do with our free time except get drunk and party. Well, we are soldiers. We will bear up under these hardships. And who knows, comrade, the next revolution may succeed. Bite your tongue, comrade. And there you have it. A chilling, compelling story about how two Russian soldiers failed to conquer a town. A three-hour panel discussion regarding the possible harmful effects of this broadcast will follow immediately, followed by a six-hour panel discussion about the possible harmful effects of the three-hour panel discussion. This has been a production of the Fantastical Ma Fantasy Fiction Workshop. <laughs>